Hi guys, welcome back and thanks for joining me on my ride again today. Um, today, I've got some new bits and pieces on the bike. Well, new tyres really. And uh, I've got the bike all ready for those wet roads and wintry conditions. So I'm a little bit ahead of myself this year. But um, as the weather has been so bad, I thought, well, I'll just get it all prepared. Um, and I had to change the tyres because my WTP byways, as you know, a ride or two ago, I had a big punch here. And um, as you can see from this picture, it really wasn't something I was confident in riding around on. So I swapped them out. I'll stop the bike in a minute when I get to the top of this hill and I'll show you what I've done. Right, let me just show you what I've done to the bike. Um, so I've got the WTB Expanse um, tanned walls and these are 32C width. And I must admit, I must admit they look amazing. Um, Specialized reckon this is like the maximum you can go to with their dry tech fenders. Um, so the maximum I went, and I must admit they look really, really nice. Yeah, so I got the dry tech fenders back on again. They do an absolutely excellent job. Highly recommend them. So I think the bike's looking really, really nice. Um, ready for those wet roads and winter riding. Now I picked up a new Topeak uh, Road ETT um, pump. My last pump was a Topeak Road Mini, which is okay for um, fitting in your back pocket if you don't want to strap it to your frame, but I just found it a nightmare to uh, pump up any tires. Yeah, and also I've gone back to tubes. Um, because I'm finding that every time I go, uh, especially on the road bike, every time I get a puncture, um, the sealant never seems to work for me. So I end up um, always putting a tube in anyway, but being covered in sealant at the same time. So I thought, well, what the hell? I'm just going to go back to tubes. <laughs> it's okay on my MTB. I don't have a problem, but on the road bikes now, I'd rather just stick to tubes. Right, I'm going to um, make a move. Yeah, after all this rain, uh, the roads are in a pretty wet and soggy condition in places. So I'm uh, pretty pleased that I've got the uh, got the mud guards or fenders back on again. Yeah, so obviously with the new tyres and it comes with a new tyre setup, I've gone from tubeless to tubes. Um, with the tube with the tube lift setup I was running 50 in the front and 55 in the rear and now I've got the tubes in I'm running 60 at the front and 65 in the rear yeah I always um I always put an extra 5 psi in the rear just to help with any of those uh, pinch punches and I must admit it's feeling rather rather nice Yeah, I find these uh, these uh, expanse tires only on this very first ride. I can already tell the difference. They're a lot faster than the um, WTP byways that I've uh, just taken off. These things are skipping along. Um, but obviously, they're a different purpose tire. These are primarily for tarmac and hard pack gravel. So it's not like I can go doing any gravel, you know, really extreme gravel riding, if you like, with these. Like I could do a bit more of that on the uh, byways, but the hard packs 
gravel roads like the fire roads which I've been riding recently these here are perfectly fine for that yeah they are proper proper zippy on the tarmac yeah very impressive them just rolls a lot lot faster yeah I know I've got the mud guards on a little bit earlier than I anticipated well I had to well I had to change up the um, change out the tires anyway I wasn't gonna ride around with that great big split in my old tire in the rear I just wasn't happy doing that so give the bike a good service and uh, put the fenders on put the new tires on got a new pump <laughs> yeah all, everything's all good now I'm really happy for today's ride guys i hope you enjoyed that little trip around and uh, maybe i gave you a few ideas of what you could do with your bike um, this winter with new tires maybe some fenders right until next time guys make sure you get out there and ride and enjoy yourself and i'll see you on the next one bye for now bye bye, bye.